Yale forklift serial numbers consist of four parts, and each part gives information about the lift truck to which the serial number is assigned. These four parts are the design series, the manufacturing plant, sequence of manufacture, and the year of the forklift truck. Taking a look at the serial number on this veracitor, we can decode this number as well. The first letter number sequence, K813, that's gonna give us the design series for this model. Doesn't tell us much more than that. The next letter, which is B, that's gonna identify the plant code and location. So this plant code is B, which tells me that this thing was made in Craigavon, Northern Ireland. The next five numbers are gonna tell you the production sequence. So this was the 4,574th truck off the line out of that factory. And then our final letter is probably the most important to some of you. That's gonna tell us what year it is. This is a Y, so this is a brand new truck. This is a 2024. The year on the serial number does repeat. It goes A through Z, but it starts with the letter S in 1995. Prior to 1995, they had a different way of identifying the year in the serial number, which we'll go over later in this video. But for this one, 1995 and later, it uses the A through Z method, just like your automotive uh, car companies do. The letters I, O, and Q, they're not used, but the rest of the letters A through Z are used, starting with the letter S in 1995. So it's 1995 S, 96 T, 97 U, etc. There are some crossovers with letters. The letters S through Z have been used twice now. So if you're unsure of what year your truck is exactly, give us a call, hit us up on chat, shoot us a text, or email us. We'll be happy to look it up and see which model year your Yale forklift is. Well, hopefully now you know how to properly identify your Yale's model and serial number. If you do have any questions, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or visit our website at teleparts.com and chat with one of our live experts. My name is Paul, and we'll see you in the next video.